Hey guys, welcome back to White Dash channel. Mac Tyson vs Jake Paul to be cancelled if boxing legend fails and usual tests. The upcoming showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul promises to draw massive crowds on July 20th, marking one of the most anticipated events of this year. However, the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations holds the reins over the fight regulations as it unfolds in Texas, adding a twist to the proceedings. According to these regulations for a competitive sports, any contestant aged 36 or older must present a report of recent physical tests, including EEG and EKG results conducted within the past year. This requirement poses a hurdle for Tyson, who will be 58 at the time of the boat, placing him firmly at the age bracket subject to these rules. These regulations prioritize the fighter safety, particularly for those nearing the twirling of their careers. The EEG evaluates brain function, while the EKG assesses heart health ensuring that fighters enter the ring without pre-existing conditions that could uh, jeopardize their well-being during combat. The final call rests with the interim executive director, Brian A. Francis, who will weigh in Tyson's circumstances against the established protocols. Till manage the communications manager, hints that additional testing may be requested, considering Tyson's age, as the regulations were initially tailored for fighters just over the 36-year-old uh, threshold, not for someone pushing 16. Jake Paul says Mike Tyson is underestimating him. Jake Paul wrote a Wednesday to beat Mike Tyson in their boxing match this summer, saying he was going to rise above the doctors. Paul appeared on Fox News channels and dished on the upcoming fight against the former heavyweight champion, suggesting he is the perfect counter to whatever Tyson will bring to the ring. I think he is underestimating me. I truly, truly think that, and it's a heavyweight fight, Paul said. He is the bigger man, but I'm the faster man. He is the much stronger man, but I am fresh. He is experienced. I am smart, but in the ring, he may be smarter. So, it's a really interesting matchup, but I think the whole world, and I think a lot of people see his training videos, and yes, he looks like a beast, he's a dog, he is Iron Mike Tyson, but I believe I have what it takes to beat him, I know this is the toughest test of my life, and uh, it's an hour to be in there with Mike, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be the one who gets my hand raised. Paul understood what Tyson could be bringing and a joke. It's gonna be talk. He's the bigger man, Paul said. He's gonna be getting inside. And uh, I don't mind. Mike can have the game plan. I'm still gonna beat him. That's how confident I am in my ability. He can't bite my ear off if I knock his teeth out. Paul Woft is going to be a legged fight. Despite multiple social media posts showing his uh, training session, Tyson told last week he was scared to death going into this fight. I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird at all. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. That's how it is. Tyson said. I was afraid of the Roy Jones Jr. or fight in 2020. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was, however, old, 54, 53, and I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I confront it. This is my personality. Right now, I'm scared to death. But that's what I push Tyson get back in the ring. I always believed that adversity and the nervousness pretty much catapulted me into the success, Tyson said. If I didn't have these feelings, I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. However, when reality sets in, Tyson will be all business and the butterflies will float away. As the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become, because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible, Tyson said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.